So if you want to simplify gaslighting, straw man, all this stuff, people that are talking in exclamation points versus people and the exclamation points are causing question marks in your head that you can't speak out, <laughs> creating doubt and confusion that goes into this big bin and you end up disoriented, dissociated, confused, or feeling all their emotions. So this could also be toxic shame transfer. And they're like, well, is this my shame? Is this my guilt? Whose fault is it? Is it me? Am I a narcissist? Am I a borderline? Because of all these exclamation points flying in your face, then you've lost the battle between exclamation points and question marks. That is narcissistic abuse made simple. And it's because our normal way of thinking is we start with curiosity, then we try to work out the curiosity observations. Then we have natural insights, ideas, light bulb moments. And then we have the exclamation point, the conclusions. And then the inverted communication is the opposite. They start here and they try to force feed it backwards. And this is where Richard Brannan talks about inverted communication. Is we need to invert communication. So communication normally would be for me, uh, let's see, so others, I see a thing in external reality and I say, that's a good thing. Um, I'm Og, I'm a caveman and I want to tell my compatriot Og that there is a pond over there. There's the example. So thing, word, reaction. That's Cation normal. Should work. Make Here. When it comes to the mind games played by narcissistic psychopaths, we invert this process and we take it backwards. We ask ourselves, what is the reaction we want? What's our agenda? What's the reaction we want? And that's my argument that it's going from here to here to here. It's reversing. Instead of normal thinking, curiosity question digesting it idea we get the answer and then we try to shove it through and they try to shove their reality that's gaslighting so if they gaslight you they're saying you're wrong then they make up why you're wrong and they just make it convincing they've learned how to do this backwards my critique of richard grandin describing this is since you're using all these words it's hard to spot it on live fire because like, by the time you realize you've been caught, it's too late. You already, your reaction, you already bought the reaction. And he's talking so calmly. He's not modeling the gas. First, idea. then we make our words and our representation of reality. We adapt the words, we adapt the narrative to get that reaction. We want rage, we want fear. Then we adapt the words, we adapt the narrative to induce as much fear and rage as we can. See, so this is an accurate description. We adapt the words to evoke a certain reaction, to get the emotion. But how do you apply that when you're on the receiving end of gaslighting? How do you analyze a case with that pointer? It puts you in a mental hut space. It doesn't put you in a feeling, sensation, sensory orienting space, which I think if this could be a shortcut of going here. So if you start feeling like exclamation points and periods, finality is being blasted at you. <laughs> that might be a, a slightly quicker tell than trying to say, this person's insincere. They're converting words to try to create an emotion. That's the wrong headspace. That's like left brain. And then that actually alters reality. 
So we become the masters of changing narratives and perverting narratives and corrupting narratives to alter reality. That's not what language is for. Language is supposed to be a symbolic representation of what reality is. But what we're doing is we're turning that on its head. We're turning it upside down. So we alter the words to, in accordance with the reaction that we want so that reality itself is affected. So it's backwards or inverted. You're actually seeking to alter reality through controlling people's reactions, through controlling the story of what reality is. Therefore, the whole fundament of everything that we're doing is to pervert truth. Oh, nice and the last one. So, simplified that into a chart. Is that... Instead of having questions that help you examine what the fuck is going on in reality, and then making a mental map, and then having some certainty and comfort in your mental map, they communicate in exclamation points and conclusions and demands and then you have to make sense of it <laughs> and then we'll use this as an example and then maybe we'll try to fit it in uh, <laughs> So this is a argument that maybe Will Smith's mother is like this, and that'll come later. We're still setting up, but watch who's asking questions and who's talking in exclamation points. This is the daughter and the other one's the mother. I remember feeling so free when I was a little girl. Do you remember that? I always had my head in the clouds and I was always doodling and always dancing. Do you remember that? That's a question, right? <laughs> and the statement is trying to get a reflection. It's trying to seek communication, build a bridge. How does she get a response? Is it also a question or is it more of a exclamation point? Like, must you question everything? Let's see. Bethany, you don't have to take it from me. That's a escalated question. You didn't have to do this. Why did you do this? That's sort of embedded. I want to understand, right? You had gone as far as you could go, Bethany. It wasn't working out for you. You had gone as far as you could go. Any question here? <laughs> Statement. Period. Exclamation point. This is the truth. No room for questions. Don't question anything. This is a demand. That's the posture. It's a battle between exclamation point and question mark. You ever wonder why Lisa, Isaiah, and Renee don't come around? Question. <laughs> it's because of how you are. There's no air around you. There's no air to breathe. No air to be sad, no air to fail. That's your big complaint. <laughs> <laughs> That's your big complaint. Instead of... You know, she's trying to say, I didn't... I feel smothered. I feel unseen. There was an air around you. That's being vulnerable. That's being authentic. That's what therapists try to teach you, right? <laughs> then you use it on a narcissist and you get this. This is your big complaint. <laughs> they see this as weakness and then they attack <laughs> with what? That's your big complaint. No air. 
Well, I can live with that. I promised my mother I'd push my kids as hard as she pushed me. My There's the victim card. I'm a greater victim because mom pushed me just as hard. <laughs> and I'm just following my mom's orders. So your vulnerability is compared to my vulnerability and yours is less. Therefore, shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. Just shut Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! Keep That's in nonverbals. So Will Smith is channeling his mother wound through that. But the mother would do it silently. Like this example. Welcome, Nas. Welcome, Nas. Try to catch up. Kids may not come around. But that's okay with me because I know you're all good. But I'm not good, Mom. Because <laughs> I know you're all good. Then she says, no, I have authority on me. I'm not good. <laughs> that's hard to argue, right? Then she adds more. What she does to do. I am not good. I haven't had my head in the clouds for years. My husband, he dreams. Oh, he dreams these big ideas and he is never ashamed to do it because nobody ever made him feel like he should be. But me, I can't even look at him. I can't even look at the person closest to me in the whole world. I cannot look him in the eye. Tell him I want to be that little girl who dances again. She's being vulnerable to the mom. Articulate. This was Igor's question. Did Will articulate his wounds to the mother so that the mother could hear it and whatnot? This is an example of the daughter sharing it. And what does the mother do finally when she articulates it properly? properly? What do you guys think? She makes another exclamation point. <laughs> Or an exclamation point with a period, a finality. Be ready. Oh, there's a little bit of shame right there. Oh. <laughs> it got through. <laughs> right there. <laughs> a little bit of emotional emotionality. <laughs> but. Minimization. Miniature. Mini, 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 and then. <laughs> Exits the room. So, when exclamation points don't work, then you use a dot, and you just go silent. The powerful dot. That talk to the hand. So when my brother was visiting, uh, we were talking about white terror and martial law. So that I decided to make an argument with my mom, because she was feeling all anxious hosting my brother. My brother was questioning her anxiety and around decision making. So I escalated where she would constantly uh, play top down role and uh, not adjust or not listen to feedback. And then I shamed her, escalated like, like I'm not just, you're talking to me, talking down to me because I'm a kid. I'm your kid. I'm your son. And this is normal. But I'm channeling my dad your husband, and I'm channeling your father. And I'm talking for them because you're being shameful. You're ruining the family because of this and that and that and that. And I screamed and I maybe went a bit ape shit, way more than I've done on Zoom. And with no answer, she just silent treatment and gave me the period. So, when exclamation doesn't work, <laughs> and you can out tantrum them, out vulnerable them with another exclamation point, they 
shut down. Or you might get a little bit of a mortification, like Lori mentioned about. But then it rebuilds, so it falls apart. <laughs> so, this is trying to set up Will Smith's case study. Okay, we're going to do a, do a Seinfeld. We're going to throw a lot of corollary stuff. Then we'll get to the meat. It's almost like backwards to forwards. So we're going to start with the end, and then we're going to see if you make sense of it. Because this should be training about uh, gaslighting. So since we're trying to train you to get to getting used to this, <laughs> we answer a bunch of questions, <laughs> and then we'll try to piece it together by Act 3. Oh, you got parentified for only a year. Parentification is nice. So this video, uh, what's missing? through marriage counseling, through parenting, through thousands of hours of therapy, the other... Thousands of hours of therapy, so people who are trying to say Will Smith needs to get more therapy to stop him from slapping. He's already had thousands of hours. And he's getting therapy from Dr. Romani. Is Narcissism that expert. from Dr. Romney? <laughs> the person always goes first, right? Okay. Seek first to understand mm -hmm. and then to be understood. Mm -hmm. And I made my little, my little phrase, love is, is L-U-V. Listen, understand, mm -hmm. validate the parts that you agree with. Mm -hmm. you're, you're dead. If, if you try to go first when someone's in... Um, an emotional space. So I have trained myself and I have the firm belief that you have to be able to withstand someone else's truth. That's the punch. Yeah. You have to be able to withstand someone else's truth. What does that mean? <laughs> and why? Why well, is someone's threat truth threatening to you? <laughs> Well, if he's surrounded by, by toxic people with toxic truths that, who are shoving them down his throat, it's going to be uncomfortable for him to yes, tolerate those. Yes, he's been programmed to accept people's exclamation points as his problem, then it feels like he has to absorb it, right? But if Dr. Romani is giving this advice and he's interpreted you have to withstand the punch of somebody else's truth. I have trained myself and I have the firm belief that you have to be able to withstand someone else's truth. That's the... That's four boundaries. <laughs> somebody else's truth <laughs> is not a life threat. It's not a punch at, at you. That's adding... There's no space for two truths. There's no space for two perspectives. Or there's only, truth only comes from beliefs. It's not shared reality that has a constant search for truth. Bunch. Yes, absolutely. And the key there is that when you can hold space and bear witness, mm -hmm. two less hurt people yes, are absolutely. going back out into the world absolutely. and less likely to do more damage themselves. Absolutely. That right there yeah. was everything. Was everything. Oh, fucking kumbaya. <laughs> everything. What was the everything? Was everything. Everything was when you hold space and you take the punch of somebody else's truth, two less people harm in the world or something. What was the exact wording? What she's saying is, yes, absolutely. You know, if you can just be more codependent, everyone's going to be a lot happier. 
Yes. Yeah. But the conditional of this is... There is that when you can hold space and bear witness. So when you will hold space and bear witness, do love, listen, understand, and validate, what is the result? That's the cause. That's the argument. What's the result? What's the promise? Mm -hmm. Two less hurt people yes, are going back out into the world absolutely. and less likely to do more damage themselves. Absolutely. Two less hurt people. Well, then how did Will Smith smack the shit out of Chris Rock? <laughs> how about Will Smith just looks after himself and tells other people to fuck off? That would be a good start, I think. Yes. But he's been told to hold space and say love. Listen, understand, and validate. What's missing in LUV? Him. Yes, he's invisible. There's nothing about expressing <laughs> building a bridge. It's only about validating what he's hearing and then assuming the other person's going to reciprocate or something. But it's very vague. It's a, it's a self-sabotage, just like what he did with Chris Rock was, was probably a part of the self-sabotage. And there's the emphasis. That is final. This is like dog training. Look at those eyes. It was everything. It was everything. It's everything. So after thousands of hours of therapy with Dr. Ramani and other people, we have what happened on Sunday at the Oscars. <laughs> Only once though. Only one slap. I added effect. So he's been trained and he's been trained to do uh, this one. Or is it? Think of it this way. Under conditions of Ooh. no escape and perpetual ongoing abuse, I shrink and shrink and dissociate and dissociate. I'm going to invisibilize myself. I'm going to shrink back and shrink back and shrink back. And then I'm going to go not just into my cave, but into a, a crack in the cave at the very, very back. And that's now my authentic self. Shrunken invisible and hidden and kept away from the real world. That's part one. Or this video. You kind of invisibilize yourself. I didn't make the rules of reality. It just is. You actually have to fight for space. Your somatic energy levels, like how high energy and alive and vital are you? And, and then where do we think we are? And then where are we? I mean, even I have this issue sometimes where even I'll be walking Richard around Brown. and and I'll be like, I swear to God, I must be on a low energy day, and I didn't know it because I speak and people don't don't hear me. Well, people seem to walk through me as though I'm invisible, and I'm like, I'm a fairly large piece of meat. I can't believe that you didn't see me filling up the pathway. <laughs> but it's maybe we have. Um, moments where we go in our energy goes back inward which is what a codependent would do they would put it back into themselves so they're not imposing anything on others and you kind of invisibilize yourself it's entirely possible um the only solution for this that i would comfortably recommend and confidently recommend is that you must create a stronger sense of self you have to have a strong sense of self and that strong sense of self must know the moral boundary between right and wrong. If you don't give yourself permission to live now, who's going to give you permission to live? Oh, that's other stuff. But L-U-V, listen, understand, validate. There's no Will Smith. There's no I. There's, There's no, no I. I. There's no self. By default, he's still invisibilizing himself. And by default, the video of Dr. Romney's overexpression is also invis invisibilizing Will. Through marriage count. That <laughs> was everything. Is that seeing Will or is that invisibilizing him with the injunction? You must follow this demand. I 
I'm not sure that I would ever pay a therapist who gave me that face. Ever. <laughs> I would pay. To well, this yeah. is more obvious. Yeah, I am a codependent. Right. I would pay, but I would never go back. <laughs> oh, no, I'd pay, I'd slap her, and then I'd never go back. This is a more obvious uh, pushing exclamation point. Yeah, see? Isn't this an exclamation point? Yeah. <laughs> it's not a question. It's not an invite. It's not a conversation. It's just a finality. Final. It's a command. It's a command. Command. See? So when you hear you commands... Can almost, you can almost feel her reaching in and, and being a succubus to his power and to his... Um, I can't quite explain it, but that's what it feels like. It's almost like she's trying to suffocate him for her own benefit. It's absolutely it's celebrity. revolt. It's celebrity. She knows all the celebrities. I, I don't think that she sees human beings around her. I think she sees tools and she just reaches right through their boundaries into their brain and tells them what to think, like twists the knobs tells and flips the switches. Like, you that's do this. You <laughs> but she doesn't have a message all she's doing is is she doesn't have a contrary message she doesn't have any understanding she just has she just sees this and she's just she's exacerbating a problem she's I, making the problem worse yeah she's it's just bloody awful see how she makes the problem worse in this example we'll slowly get to will smith's uh, core wound the entire basis for my self-esteem was foundationally dependent upon whether or not my woman was happy. My self-image was inexorably bound up in my woman's opinion and approval of me. Women bring out rage in you like nothing else. Yeah. So it's Women bring out rage in you like nothing else. Yeah. So like That's nothing so else. That's not a helpful phrase even. Like it's just... <laughs> But look at what is sitting around the table. God. <laughs> I don't see many men around that table. I only see oh, women. There's is a there few. a man there? I think there might be one. There's a few, but listen to the question, women. Like nothing else. Yeah. So it's like nothing else is an add-on. But like nothing else is a judgment. Anything That's judgment. Goes. Anything that's goes. judgment. Anything that's goes. judgment. Anything that's goes. judgment. You can't say that either. 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 Like nothing else. And then after she says this big judgment, then she throws in the question. So it's a loaded exclamation point with a hollow question because <laughs> it's uh, almost rhetorical. And she yeah, knows well, how she's Will's going to answer it. Now feed me back what I want to hear. But I think Chantal's comment in the comments is really good. It looks like he's sitting there at the Spanish Inquisition. Well, I've embellished that, <laughs> but he's there. He's sitting there, and it is, he's, on a, he's on trial for being Will Smith. Oh, That's a nice observation on body language. Let's see. Like, what's that about? See, so the question, what's that about? It's not even it's very specific. Women bring out your rage like nothing else. <laughs> What's that about? <laughs> How do you answer that? <laughs> Even if you knew. And she knows his backstory, so she should be able to try to help guide him to some sort of skill. Instead, he ambushes him. And he does this. You heard the question, help. Do I look like I have an answer for that? Do I look like I have an answer for that? No idea. No idea. No idea. No idea. So who looks like the expert and who looks like an idiot? Is the therapist supposed to be the one taking the spotlight 
in making the client look like an idiot, or is it there supposed, supposed, supposed to be somewhat in the background? <laughs> Showing off her work. Look, I've helped him. No, look, I'm just going to ambush him and make him look like he needs me forever. That's what... <laughs> It's adding punishment to him. So it's, it's torture. She's torturing him. And she knows his problem. This isn't like... Yeah, he's, of course. She's following the book. He's had sessions with her. He knows all the detail. And she sets him up to just look stupid. Yeah, she squishes down whatever his problem is. And then his issues squirt out somewhere else. And something else pops up. And then she can say, oh, well, you fucked up. You didn't, you didn't really listen. You know... <laughs> It's, it, it never ends. Do I look like I have an answer for that? <laughs> Do I look like I have an answer for that? No idea. No idea. No idea. No idea. No idea. That's a human reaction. That looks like it's honest, right? I don't see any deception in his eyeball. Like, there. <laughs> that looks like confusion to me. That looks... It's not a per performance. So this video probably came earlier, so Dr. Ram Ramanani knows this part, even though this was a small part of the video, so she might have forgot it. That kind of disapproval from women, central greatest pain in my life. Gotcha. Female disapproval. She said gotcha, which means I understand. Or doesn't mean it's true, but at least she's saying I, I gotcha. <laughs> I think that's what gotcha means, right? Because of my dynamic with my mother, mm -hmm. female disapproval with my mother. Mm -hmm. Guess what her, his mother's job is? School board administrator. Trina? <laughs> no, but Trina's just a principal. This is administrator. Yeah, Even that's a nice higher one. level of management, top-down judgment. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Female disapproval with my mother. Mm -hmm. you know, as a little boy, my father beat my mother, mm -hmm. and I couldn't protect her. Right. I'm arguing that's the straw man scapegoat story, because the father got drunk, acted out, punched the mother. It's like, but here it's like he's... That. He's telling like his story and she's on stage about her persona. She's not even listening. To him. She's you right. Let me look at my notes. Yeah, right. Next. What are we going to talk about next? Like it's, she's a it has nothing to do. Yes. Yeah. It has nothing to do with him. She's not listening. She's not participating. She's not asking any questions. It's just, ah, she's horrible. <laughs> she's going to be doing exclamation points. <laughs> Watch it come. It's coming. Right. Female disapproval with my mother mm -hmm. is in like unbearable and j my body can't handle it. J my body can't handle it. Does that look authentic? He's being vulnerable. His body breaks down just at the thought of it. He's almost a dis little dissociated and regressed right there, right? Female disapproval with my mother, mm -hmm. my body can't handle it. Well, I'm hearing that female disapproval, female disapproval, female disapproval. Spot the body language? What is this micro expression? He's looking away from the female disapproval. Totally dismissing him. Yeah, she's yes, looking down. down at him. Like, looking down oh and away. And away. Like she doesn't exist. Yes. My God, this is a therapist. Yes, Dr. Romani. No, I this ball. is a person. This is an internet personality. This is not a therapist. Wow. She's a she's a she's a, trash she's a bag, practicing yeah. Trash yeah, bag I, I know that. Yeah. <laughs> with a doctor's degree. <laughs> yeah, are doing sure? disapproval after she does disapproval, she relabels. No, relabels I, I mean, it. I've had like at least a couple of therapists who were this bad that I've, that I've seen. So it's not that surprising that she has a doctorate. Um, they hand them out to whoever pays and gets a good grade. So, yeah, <laughs> I think she's got an intellectual understanding of the 
topic, but has absolutely no emotional empathy or depth. Yes, she has no ability to be a human being. <laughs> and she's also she's also snagged herself a celebrity client, and um, here we are. But I'm, we'll see what happens. She's been quiet after the slapping incident, I believe. <laughs> oh, it's only a week. Yeah, but... that's because she's busy with her sure. clients. <laughs> disapproval, a female disapproval, yeah, she, is a loss of love. No, absolutely, and that. So she relabels female disapproval to loss of love, which, what does that mean? So when you're ever in trouble or emotional or somebody else is emotional, you can just say, relabel it and call it love. Yeah, she just invalidated the assault that he receives from women. Invalidated his core wound or relabeled it. Mm -hmm. uh, Stretch some emotionality out of it with loss of love. And then after he, she did that, since she, she gave the no, absolutely and disapproval, he chased for approval <laughs> like a good boy. This is like the therapeutic equivalent of the doctors who killed what uh, Prince and uh, mm -hmm. you know Michael Jackson, and th these are these are <laughs> the. They're the yes That's men who good. like fuck with the That's intellect good. of the wealthy and the and the the vulnerable. Yep. But he's still alive, so we can get future case studies. Those people they're dead. Yeah, so till they can't... fuck him up further and he yeah. continue he does something really stupid. I hope he more so. a really good male therapist drops divorces Jada, fucks Dr. Ramani off and deals with this properly. That's my view. He's got Fact, Jay, Jay Shetty, the, the spiritual yeah, coach, I highly is also in his gravitas. <laughs> and that's, I mean, that's catastrophic, yeah. right? It's a loss of love. Yeah. What in your loss of love is catastrophic, right? <laughs> your life continues to trigger that unsafe feeling. It's a loss of love because that's your wound, Will. That that. So then, catastrophic loss of love. That's your wound, which is also. Exclamation point. <laughs> How about if he tells her what his wound is? Where are the questions? Where are the questions? No, the only questions are loaded questions that are just mass of exclamation points. Conclusions. Demands. Injunctions. No humanity. Just... Yeah, right. Yeah. That's your, that's that is absolutely wound. my my central wound. Female disapproval with my mother. Mm -hmm. My body can't handle it. Female disapproval with my mother. Mm -hmm. My body can't handle it. Female disapproval. Female disapproval. Female disapproval. Female disapproval. My body can't handle it. So he owned it. Explained it to Dr. Romney. It's on video. And then. Now we can dive into the actual footage from the Oscars. <laughs> and let's see if people have a different reaction than the normal reaction. <laughs> he is praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please, Lord. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> <laughs> Look, it's a killer mm -hmm. death stare. Mm -hmm. Female disapproval. I roll. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and a sort of evil look there. That's a side eye also. Eye roll and yes, side eye. Yes, that's called side eye. That's a side eye. Side eyes are pretty <laughs> powerful, right? Mm -hmm. And a little bit of contempt. Or if we had better like video, grimace, there might yeah. be like a teeth showing. That's pretty, yep. pretty good. Pretty intense. <laughs> <laughs> I guess he sort of saw it. That's where he sort of eased off. See? I think he sensed it. Yeah. Uh, yeah I, like, I, I, got more, I got a more, I think he's sort of got, he's read the room and gone, ooh. So he's, yeah. it didn't land and he's wondering. So he's a little bit cautious. That's that, that, was a, that was a nice. See? And then he tries to soften he's it. Yeah, no, he didn't kowtow enough. <laughs> well, he wasn't expecting the other part, yes. Nice one, okay. No. 
I'm out here. Uh-oh, Richard. <laughs> Okay, that's a slap three times. It only happened once I slowed it down. But. He could have punched, he could have kicked him in the balls. I say this was restraint. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But everybody else is overacting like he could have fallen and died and whatever. They're exaggerating. <laughs> the only thing that was hurt is Chris Rock's dignity. Yeah, he was disrespectful and blah blah blah. It wasn't a mortal or giant physical injury. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. <laughs> the wife's name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Dude. Yeah. So I think people are more upset about this because this is a threat. Mm -hmm. It's a or else threat. That's yeah, I don't know. I think everybody's just codependently like, oh, it's all scary. Well, uh, if I can, sorry if I can interject. So this comes, so because of our time changes, this happens at about 10 o'clock in the morning on Monday. That went live on commercial television in Australia, unedited, with the fuck and the shit and the whole lot, unedited. And I think... What the hell? Can't you people afford a time delay? Well, we don't give a shit. No, who's watching? The only people who are watching TV at 10 o'clock in the morning are unemployed people and drug addicts. Who cares, right? So <laughs> they call, that's what they call uh, the, the midday show is called Good Morning Australia for the unemployed. So this went live and it was more the swearing, I think, but Australians swear anyway, so it wasn't a big deal. <laughs> it Good was theater. a G.I. Yeah, that's like good day. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> So he countered saying it wasn't that bad of an injury. And then the second one was more escalated, but the same words. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Keep my wife's name out. Now, how many people can look at his eyes and see what emotions do you read? Your fucking mouth. I'm right there. He looks vulnerable. Because his wound is female yeah, disapproval. He looks, he looks like a little kid. He looks like a little kid there. I would call that scared. He's yeah. scared. It's yeah. fear, yeah. terror. He looks like he's about to cry. Well, he got the, he got a fucking horrible side eye from his horrible yes. wife. What? Yeah. What? what do you... <laughs> Look but... how he he's doing the chin up, just doing the the make sure he's not drowning. Well, he's up so his eyes don't tear up and they don't run down his face. Yeah, but can you hear... So his eyes are watery, and if he lean, goes forward, the water will run down his face. He's leaning back. That's a guy trick. How, how loudly <laughs> does he have to say that, and with how much um, uh, velocity does he have to say that for it to hit the microphone on the stage and echo around the room? So there's a lot of power and a lot of energy behind what he's saying because they wouldn't have switched the microphone on him. So, yeah, it's true. The the is, bigger mic. Not, not he has no mic. The voice is not but he's really close no, to the stage because he got up and got down really quick. So yeah, and it's a clamshell ceiling, so it's all set up for sound. I'm going to. Okay. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the clamshell ceiling is as very stylish. <laughs> so right here, Chris Rock had a little moment of saying, "I could retort back." And they said no. Oh, okay. <laughs> I could say something. Oh, I could. Oh, okay. Oh, I could. <laughs> <laughs> Not going there. So that's his restraint, also. No. Because he wasn't expecting this. He was surprised. So he's showing restraint, and then. Oh, I could. Oh, okay. <laughs> What's that? He looks to the side to see uh, Is anything going to happen? <laughs> yeah. What are the stage managers telling me? <laughs> yes And nobody has anything So then he continues <laughs> But mm -hmm. He had to catch his breath after no one bailed him out Yeah, nobody escorted Will No, nobody, nobody escorted Nobody gave him a clue Or 
no people one knew what to do. In shock. It's never happened. Yeah, yeah they're in a the state of shock. Because no one, no one could work out whether it was... No, no, no one could work out whether it was real or not. Was it staged? Was it a prank? And that's what's going on. Everyone's trying to go, what just happened? And that's what that's what Chris Rock's trying to sort of work out as well. I don't think it's something to be giggling at, to be honest. I don't think it's actually quite um, quite serious. Yeah. That's a state of shock. He's in mm -hmm. shock and then he catches his breath. After. That was a greatest night in the history of television. Okay. <laughs> Okay. okay. And he's right. Okay. So he only gives himself maybe half a second or a second to say, <sighs> we regulate, then he moves on. So we are here to uh, give a documentary out, to give an Oscar out for best documentary. So then he goes on script. So after this, everyone just takes sides. Chris Rock versus Will Smith, and that's it. <laughs> There's a little bit so of acknowledgement why? that Jada maybe pulled some strings, but otherwise she's just on the side. You're like, oh, she has yeah, she she and she's so Where are yeah, the producers? Why? Where are the producers cutting to a commercial break? Why have they? Why has yeah, the really. control yeah. Why yeah. has yeah. the control room? Everybody takes Hang on. Because they, the interview during the interview, they interviewed them, and they did, they thought there was something set up between Rock and Will Smith, but they weren't aware of like a prank or something. And they were processing it too because it was unexpected, apparently. So what's going on is everyone's processing everything, and it's all well, going. Well, Chris Rock is moving up. on, and Will Smith is sitting down. So it could be scripted. If they started beating the shit out of each other, then they'd probably jump in. Yeah. <laughs> and the producer wasn't sure he actually got slapped or if it was fake until Chris Rock walked off the stage and he was on the side waiting for him and asked him. Like, Let's see, the really slap is the legal part, but the emotional intensity of the screen is what I think people remembered. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! So if you're a fellow Oscar attendee and you're not used to feeling conflict or threats <laughs> around you, that screaming is going to be much more shocking than a slap. And then just to put some context, this is what a slap battle looks like. So professional slappers Whoa! This one's going to be worse. Well, look how big he is. Yes. Compared to this little guy. So slaps can be damaging. Will Smith did not do this level of slapping. Arms are both of them. So. A lot of people are overreacting to the slap as if it was a mortal physical injury or giant violent sanctions and stuff. But I think people were more upset about this. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! Keep my wife's name out but if he just said it in a different mouth. tone, just shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. He would have gotten away with it. Argue. <laughs> just shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. And let people well, argue. Just shut the fuck just... up. Just... Tone of voice. Tone of That's voice. That's all Will Smith Tone needed. of voice. Tone... But this tone was too Keep terrifying. My wife's name out your fucking mouth! Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! I think that scared Chris Rock more than the slap did. Yes. Because there's no finality. That's just an escalation. That's a threat. 
that's uncertainty. That's a yeah. boundary, a restriction, and a potential. Don't know. That's a, well. Will has already it. shown how far he's, he's prepared to go now. If Chris Rock takes another step, I, I that's t I think Chris Rock was terrified. That's an exclamation point that leaves a bunch of question marks in Chris Rock's head. See. Oh, Monique showed up. Welcome, Monique. Hello. This is a secret exclamation points versus question marks. If you learn how to speak out your question marks instead of just taking in exclamation points and giving yourself exclamation points, then you will learn how to process reality better. Because you start with questions, and then you make sense of stuff. Then you get light bulb moments. Then you have your answers. Don't start with answers, because then narcissists can just shove answers down your throat. The secret teaching from today. We didn't cover that in person, this shortcut map. I don't know if it's going to land that well. So let's go with this part or not. Like they want to make you feel defeated. That's why they would will rarely ever like celebrate your successes with you. Like literally, like you you want to graduate from college and they don't have they they only have a GED or they dropped out in eighth grade or something like that. You're gonna do it on your own. And they're gonna make a scene. That you're gonna make a scene. That you're gonna make a scene. They're gonna make a scene during your celebration. They have trouble, narcissists have trouble sharing spotlight. So Jada could have been sending negative vibes and poking Will Smith. Well, he, they, so they already he made a scene. He was win. Mm -hmm. Sorry, sorry, Dick. The, the, the winners already know, right? So he already knew that he was going to win the Oscar for best actor. They know. Arguably. Fully know or half know? I'm not, I thought there's still something. They have to get their speeches ready. So Somebody knows. Somebody. Everybody gets their speech ready. Somebody so knows. Was, hang on, Holly, 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 Holly. So, <laughs> so they already, he already has a fair idea, let's say, hypothetically. I would argue that he already knew. So she's she's been nominated for fuck all. So that's the first problem. The second problem is he wins later on. It just gets worse and worse and worse. So they have trouble sharing the spotlight or birthdays. So that gives evidence to uh, Jada sabotaging. And a lot of times, if you are this person that is seeking validation, that needs validation from, from this narcissistic person, they're going to make you work extremely hard to try to get that validation. Nothing you do will ever be good enough for a narcissist. It just won't. So if you decide to change their hairstyle, that's not good enough. Hey, I changed my hair. You like this? Mm, it's cool. I guess it's better than what you had. You know what I mean? That type of stuff right there. They want you to feel defeated. It's a battle between narcissists and whoever they're dealing with. The battle is between the narcissist and the world. You are in the world, so you are battling against the narcissist. <laughs> they want you to feel defeated. Oh, did you hear the you laugh? You are in the world, so you are battling against the narcissist. <laughs> That's a genuine laugh. <laughs> you are battling against the narcissist, narcissist versus world. There's no apologies mm -hmm. in this laugh. There's no guilt. You are in the world, so you are battling against the narcissist. <laughs> they want you to feel defeated. So they can't beat you financially. So what they're going to do is make you sort of attack you intellectually and try to bring you down and try to, you know, perpetuate all your insecurities. They're going to talk about your past and your trauma and your childhood and your parents, your relationship with your parents, or how you, how you, your first divorce or your, first, your, your last relationship they fell apart. They're going to tear you down brick by brick, systematically. They want you to feel defeated, to feel defeated, to feel defeated. So 
So then we'll do a case study of his mom, because that's a core wound, and then we can dive into Jada's case study. This is his mom. There's that subtle and silent feeling always pulsating in the back of my mind that I'm a coward. First impressions? <laughs> is that a warm and loving body language? That's a taskmaster. <laughs> that I failed. Look at that posture. Yeah. Administrator. That I'm sorry, my mom. So sorry. I said, no, I'm not going to do this with my children there. No, this is, you know, I'm not going to be, make them more upset with me screaming and hollering. And One of the things you said that was really strong, too, you said, part of the reason that you were standing up to daddy is because you knew your kids were mm, yeah yes you knew your kids could hear yeah, and, and you knew your kids could see said, yes and she wanted yes. she so her story is that she didn't want to scream or do anything because the kids would hear her acting out and expressing emotions of being scared or whatnot or something so she had to appear strong for the kids and she's nodding with that. Yeah, could see. Yes. And she wanted yes. she wanted us to think he wasn't hurting her. Yeah. Maybe had I been more submissive, things may have been different. <laughs> and she had this unusual laugh after saying submissive which I'm saying is somewhat never in my life I would do such a thing. <laughs> yes, it's interesting her choice of hairstyle given his wife's choice of hairstyle or the style that was made for her. <laughs> but I grit my teeth and buckle down. Oh, uh, and then she makes a parody of it. <laughs> <laughs> my grit my teeth, buckle down. I, that's hilarious. Children aren't going to be more rattled because I'm rattled. That's so powerful. So her formula is if she's not rattled, her children wouldn't be rattled. Apparently, Will Smith heard it opposite, saying, I couldn't rescue my mom at age nine, therefore I'm forever a loser and unworthy. So He didn't get the message from the mother saying, if I'm not rattled, then you guys aren't supposed to be rattled. Dissonance. And white guy she, mansplains um, because that's what white guys do. That's not how you woman. White guy. Oh, you're teaching him that's not how you treat a woman. By not expressing anything and staying strong. That's what you're teaching him. That, that was the only time in my life that I ever considered suicide. Yeah. Mm. The only time in his life he ever commits suicide. Look at her posture and reaction. The only time in my life that I ever considered suicide. Yeah. Mm. That I ever considered suicide. Yeah. Mm. It's almost that was a the smile. Only time From her? Well, sure, he's trying to keep composure. I mean, he's... He, his facial expressions are going to be very different from what's going on inside. But, the, but are you not picking up the lack of emotional bandwidth that this woman has? Like, yeah, no. oh, hers, yeah, yeah. But she the connection, the, the weird that. connection between the two of them is is very fucked up, yeah. She's just, this, she's just Jada 2.0. Oh, yeah, she she's, like, not worked out any of Only her past time. at all. Also, how she's sitting. It's like she's really hanging over his shoulder, suppressing him, so he will not say anything wrong. But if Watch your son your said, if your son said that he yeah. contemplated suicide, wouldn't there be some kind of emotional, even a touch or nothing? Is she nothing? No, but she was embarrassed. That's what he said. Could be her embarrassment. Yeah. Her, she's losing face. But as far as his emotions, 
Yeah, she put him in that position. Yeah, yeah. I don't think she's, she's not even aware that she's processing emotion. Yeah, she's still she's like, doing. yeah, she's totally worried about her story and her. This guy is story. talking about the only time he's committed thought about suicide. Right, and she has no. And this is her posture. Would this be the yeah. posture you would think of a son that's revealing his most depressed, deepest suicidal period? That was related to her reaction, her being hurt. Even then she could say, oh, compassion, you cared about my, my harm. No, she's, she just or sorrow she staring at his that. ear. Maybe there's something yeah. in his ear. Maybe that's the thing. She's obsessed. There's like some little speck of dirt in his ear. So she, she didn't hear. Maybe that was it. But look at this. No, she's controlling laser focus. him. He's emotionally <laughs> incested him. Yeah. He's emotionally incested by her. Yeah, absolutely. Dominated. And uh, like she's but whispering I, uh, in his ears what he should say. Mm -hmm. I thought about killing myself because it was, it was all my failure in my mind. You know that. And she doesn't take accountability. It was all his fault in his mind. He doesn't yeah, say, I was the, the adult. That's Molly's reaction. That's also a weird reaction. Hers? Dr. Which, Amani. Yeah, yeah, well, she's... She doesn't know Amani's what she's looking at. Like, hmm. Who knows what her reaction is, yeah. <laughs> She's not helping anyone, and and the and the mom is completely lost in her own story. Here's Will, like out on a limb, trying to process his shit, and he's alone in a room of weirdos. Yeah, like, exactly. <laughs> but these are weirdos he knows. This is his inner circle. <laughs> They're all and fucked Will, up. And, and they're they're they are good. all fucked up. Yes. <laughs> fucking paying some of them. Yes, the he's fuck? paying these friends. Yes. The whole idea of me uh, thinking of myself as a, a coward was was new for her you know it's like we did we've never we never <laughs> look at that laugh she, oh, she doesn't say her. anything like oh that's not true or look at oh, her honey or her shaking nothing. You... talked Jeez. about it she's rejecting um, the idea right there. i was like we did we never head jiggle right there She's got the emotional bandwidth of a parking meter. Look at it. She's it's... shaking that off, even as he's saying it. She can't entertain it. It's just blocked. Don't care. Don't want to take it. Shaking the guilt off. Yep. We never yep. talked about it. Um, the idea that I felt like I should have done something was so, you know, foreign. You know, so she uh, uh, reassured uh, little Will that there was nothing that he could have done. I, I never thought he was a cow. Of course. So she's saying this to the audience, not to Will. Notice. I, I never thought he was a cow. Of course. And she had to struggle to say it. <laughs> yeah, because she did. Because she wanted him. Oh, I, I never. Sorry, this is a. Thought he was a cow. Of course. Maybe Incest. had I been more submissive. That's the lying. amount of guilt what she about can me? share. Oh, what about me? Let me tell you. Oh, if I was a little bit more submissive, maybe things would be different. But submissiveness would be totally. Things may have been different. Disgusting. <laughs> I grit my teeth and buckle down. <laughs> no fucking way. Submissive. <laughs> Submissive. <laughs> I grit my teeth and buckle down. <laughs> Where's no, Daddy? Why isn't he around the table? Oh, I he think died. he's still alive, isn't he? Cancer. Well, how long ago? Two years ago? Two years ago, was it? 2016, 2018, something. But Dad was always involved, so that's not a big deal. Yeah. Oh, so now 25. he's reflecting on his life now the dad's gone uh, he's gotten to writing the memoir for whatever reason yeah huh we don't have that much time left okay 
Now you see the mom. So now you can see Jada. Yeah. I don't like how all of this came to be. Mm -hmm. but that doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. It's all love. Mm -hmm. See, so remember, if you're in trouble, just use love. <laughs> Reframe <laughs> everything to love. <laughs> Female disapproval, loss of love. It doesn't matter. It's all love. <laughs> what does it mean? Who knows? But it's a good cover. If you did something, then it would be your fault. But I did something, therefore, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> the outpouring for him from our family was uh, initially about his health. Yeah. And I mean, we found all those different resources, mm -hmm. you know, to... So the guy is August. You don't have that much time to cover that. <laughs> we found all these different resources. We like, found resources. Like, them. like we like finding people to, with you. We didn't find yeah. people to help us. We found we marriages have that though. Yeah, marriages have that. Yeah, we basically mm -hmm. we broke up. We decided that we were going to separate for a period of time and you go figure out how to make yourself happy and I'll figure out how to make myself happy. Well, at that particular point in time, it was indefinite. Yeah, I really felt like we could be over. You yeah, know? no, and, we were over. Uh, and so who's talking in questions and who's talking in exclamation points? See, notice how Will is in question, questions Jadis. and she's just in Exclam final certainty, always. Then what did you do, Jada? What? So there's his biggest strong question. Nothing. <laughs> yes, she answers that in nicer language. Yes. <laughs> you know, I think from there, you know, as time went on, I got into a different kind of entanglement mm -hmm. with August. And one thing I want to get clear about and clean up, one of the things that was kind of swirling in the press about you giving permission, mm -hmm. which is... Uh, you know, the only person that can give permission in, in, in that particular uh, uh, yes. circumstance is myself, myself, myself. Yes. That's a sidestep of the issue. No, that's well, an ownership issue. Of like going, I don't care about your permission. <laughs> I yeah. don't need your permission. And I didn't do anything fucking wrong. <laughs> mm -hmm. She uses words. She, she twists the word. She, she uses... We had resources, and then she referred to this as an entanglement, right? There's very, very specific choices of word. Mm. She's a fucking piece of work, this one. But this is her talking in exclamation points, right? Even mm. though this is when Will saying, I can get her to admit the affair, I can finally be heard about my pain, and he's getting more gaslighting, <laughs> more exclamation points and more confusion in this head myself 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 yes exactly yeah but what august was probably trying to communicate mm -hmm. because i could actually see how he would perceive it as permission because we were separated mm -hmm. amicably yeah. and amicably she says maybe he doesn't agree they don't and seem to be having the same conversation. Like yes, like she's saying things, and he's agreeing to something she didn't say. Like they're... because he's been programmed with listen, understand, and validate, and then he's invisible. Oh, he's been oh thousands of hours of therapy and couples. He remembered L U V. <laughs> become a whipping boy, and that's the result. Or he whipped. He whipped. And I think he also wanted to make it clear that he's not a homewrecker, mm -hmm. which he's not, mm -hmm. which he's not. Lovely eyes. Is there any fear or sadness in here? She's no. maintaining her like acting career here and her public persona. Like, this has nothing to do with the two of them working anything out. I think she's doubling down and forcing what he should be doing. She's doubling down because a narcissist wants their partner to be defeated because it's narcissist against the world. <laughs> Anyone in their fucking way is someone to destroy. Look at those eyes. 
Yeah. yeah, they're doing damage control well, after well, August had a lot to say. Yeah. August had a lot to say, and that's what they're doing here. They're trying to set the record straight from what August put out there. Yes, but follow the interaction between Willa and Jada. The, mm -hmm. That's the yeah, they don't. Not they're not on the same page. Mm -hmm. Which he's not. I think so. I mean, because this is your red table, and you like brought yourself to the red table. I think um, you need to. So this is Will Smith doing a second attempt to get her to talk more and own something. While she's pointing the finger at him, <laughs> her mm. hand, still, to try to say, <laughs> I've made my, no, this is all I'm going. If you keep going, I'm escalating. There's no backing down. Has she showed any sort of ownership? Say clearly what happened. As far as what? You and I. Say more clearly. That's his question, right? <laughs> That's his ask. Reasonable. And then she says, what? So is what? <laughs> just, tell, just tell me what you want. Just say it. Just say it. Just say it. I decided we were going to take our space and what happened. Yeah. And then I got into an entanglement with August. That's what I said. An entanglement? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> An entanglement. It's that's good. a question mark. She's still talking in exclamations. Yes. A relationship. Yes. It was a yeah. relationship. Absolutely. I was in a lot of pain. And I was she was in pain, very broken. Now, in the process of that relationship, I definitely realized that you can't find happiness outside of yourself. Mm -hmm. And luckily enough, you and I were also going through a process of healing in a much different manner. Mm -hmm. I would definitely say we did healing. everything that we could to get away from each other, only mm -hmm. to realize that that mm -hmm. wasn't possible so we come to the red table so i'm in i'm in the jada position right now so okay. you know you during that time launched into an interaction mm -hmm. with august what do you feel like um you were looking for that's the third he's going three mm -hmm. times wanting more details and this one he looks like he's desperate for so validation sweet. That he, yeah, he's asking for some sort of acknowledgement mm -hmm. or some kind of ownership. And what does she do? She wants him to be defeated. I just want it to feel good. I just want it to feel good. Mm -hmm. It had been so long mm -hmm. since I felt good. What is the embedded insult in that statement? What is the embedded oh, tone, you don't voice? Make me tone of happy, voice? Will. Tone yeah. of voice. It tone. had been so long that I had felt good. Yeah, yeah. it's your you responsibility. Me you fucked it up for me. You suck. Yeah. You suck. You make me that's feel a, bad. That's a narc. Mm. I can't Since make myself I feel felt good. Good. Yeah. And it was really a joy to just help heal somebody. <laughs> and look at the contrast. Heal somebody it by had fucking been them? So long <laughs> yes. since I felt good. And then she's giddy <laughs> to help heal someone and have new sex with this young guy. I'm going to rejoice that, in front of your face. That is so not healing anyone. I, 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 didn't, I didn't know healing involves sex. So That's all this time I've been doing hilarious. it wrong. Yeah. I've been doing it wrong this whole time. Damn. Haven't you heard oh, of this? Is... Where is no, the healing? There's the healing. Where's the healing? Oh, oh, that's what where you is meant. the healing? We found though. where the healing is. Oh. Amir, Amir Khan, you have Could you, you play know, some um, sexual healing? Yes. Healing. <laughs> yeah, healing's at the end of your dick, Amir Khan. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Nia Khan, I think I think I learned this lesson somewhere around puberty, and I didn't realize I knew it all this time. No, no, no at the other end of the poop, right? Not that end. Eh? Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Was uh, this a request, Holly? Or not? Hmm. What somebody Iman was asking for the song. Uh, no, I said you remember, sexual remember the song "Sexual Healing." Oh, yes. That song. Yeah, I don't know if he's taking requests at the moment, is he? <laughs> 
No. <laughs> Jesus. I don't have that. He said, right how is sorry. sex healing? I said, oh, there's a whole song about how sex can heal. <laughs> oh, there is a song. Okay. Marvin Gaye. Yeah. I think yeah. that has a yeah, lot it was to a do joke. with I mean, I my codependency. I think this is a jab <laughs> that she learned from therapy. That's why she's looking sideways and giving her side side eye to jab him about him being a codependent. <laughs> do you think she thinks she's a codependent? What about hers? <laughs> is she talking about her codependency? Or I think what? that has a lot to do with my codependency. That posture isn't owning it. <laughs> Everything no, else are is you head on. Buy what I'm going to sell you right now. Yes, it's no, more of a pitch. Or making fun of him. See? Yeah. So My me. codependency, which is another thing that I had to learn to break in this cycle, mm -hmm. just that idea of needing to fix and being drawn to people that need help, whether it's your health or whether it's your addictions. Mm -hmm. There's something about that childhood trauma mm -hmm. um, that feels as though it can be fixed through fixing people mm -hmm. or fucking yeah this is such bullshit this is such fucking bullshit uh, he's just taking pot shots at will this is pot shots and posturing exactly. at will yeah exactly it's non-verbals of saying will you're not look at the body this. language look i'm going to destroy feet. you her feet are on him oh they're cross-legged oh, yeah, she's but... totally in control they're cross -legged. She's... She's totally in control. Whatever she's doing, she, he is versus <laughs> versus absolutely gun pointing. Now her she's cross-legged. Looks sort of like they're on. It looks like she's got well, her legs got very long legs. If that's okay. <laughs> they're just cross-legged. He's got long legs. Oh, it's cross-legged, I think. Fixing me, fixing <clears throat> me. Yeah. And I think that that whole process with Aug really showed me that mm -hmm. and taught. So she's using codependence to give her another excuse for Augustine, August and having this affair and focusing on herself and not needing permission. <laughs> Framed in codependency because she's been studying from the therapy terms. Taught me that. And I'm really grateful for that lesson. And I'm happy for all the stuff I've I've learned, and I don't give a damn about your feelings. So she's fully owned. That's your problem. That's your problem. That's your problem. That's your problem. That's the energy she's sending out to Will. I feel like that husband, like I'm with you at the press conference. <laughs> and that husband, I'm with, now I gotta be. This is another attempt to be heard and seen. I feel like I'm being embarrassed and shamed, and what does she do? She instantly laughs out loud and is gleeful yep. at that. And that like I'm with you at the press ago, conference. <laughs> yeah, right there, you can see her legs are crossed underneath. But look no at her laugh. At it's a giant laughter at his pain. Yeah. He's, uh, she's killing him. She's killing him. The narcissist wants you to die. Wants you That's defeated, Sam like Lee said. Yep. <laughs> and my husband, I'm now I got to be with you at the press conference <laughs> while you like to tell the world uh, about your transgressions. <laughs> well, like I love, I love my baby. I'm gonna stand by my baby no matter what. Well, you know, I definitely, <laughs> I definitely understand. Mm -hmm. um, That's another well, attempt didn't to be seen. She, he said she didn't transgression. Even say she transgressed. Yeah, he well, said that, but she watch, didn't own it. She's gonna deflect it or. She's going to block Why it. it would look that way or feel that way. But I actually don't look at it as a transgression at all. Transgression at all. Not at all. I'm not taking that because that's an exclamation point. Through that particular journey, I learned so much mm -hmm. about myself and was able me. to really confront a lot of emotional immaturity, mm -hmm. emotional insecurity. Mm -hmm. And I was really able to do some really deep healing. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, and really? as I came through and started to realize certain things about you and I, he decided Deep healing. to break all communication with me, right. which was totally understandable. Right. Um, and I let that be and hadn't talked to him since.
Yeah. So it is a little weird that all this stuff is coming out now yeah. since this was Yeah, because for me several... this was years ago, right? <laughs> yeah. You know, so the fact that it's uh, coming so up long now, ago. and I think it could feel weird for people that we're laughing and, and talking about it, but... It happened so long ago. You know, and our experiences of working through it, fighting through it, talking through it, and therapizing right. through it, I think that the why now is weird. Yeah. When I say it's been a huge healing on my life, and just what I had huge. to confront and discover... Yeah. Is this a bragging about sex or something, or this is a weird posturing, more posturing? You know, about myself. Yeah. It's all about me. The I ugly truths and the beauty. I'm going to get you back first, and then... You're going to get me back. I think you got me back. <laughs> I think you... <laughs> I think we're good on that, okay? <laughs> She thinks she's gotten, she's been punished too much. What does Will think? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that might, that's probably true. That's you know, true. but, um, and I don't off. think it's about getting anybody back. No, for me it is. Okay. There. <laughs> that side chat, for me it is. Um, and I don't think it's about getting anybody back. No, for me it is. Okay. <laughs> so he's not reconciled. Okay, um, I'll give you that petty <laughs> if that's what you want. Then she calls it heavy. <laughs> so didn't give it to him. <laughs> uh. um, but, you know, I will definitely say mm -hmm. it's just part of it. Yeah. You know, if you expect to be with somebody for a lifetime. 25 years and counting. Mm. We ride together. We, we die, die together. together. Bad, Bad marriage, marriage for, for life. life. <laughs> 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 uh, that's terrible. It's the truth. <laughs> it's the truth. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's uh, it's just part of the journey. I told you the first year we were were married. What'd you tell me? That I can love you through anything. And I didn't believe you. Yeah. If somebody looked through a crystal ball and said, this, 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 and this is going to happen, I'd be like, mm -hmm. no way. Yeah. You love you through anything. I thought I was that, that I didn't have the girth that it was going to take to ride with I you didn't, through. Yeah, I didn't know if you would be willing to find the deep capacity to love me. Yeah. How am I doing? You're doing great. Mm hmm All right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're awesome. <laughs> Oh. Okay, we ran out of time. So does this offer a little bit more context of the slot? <laughs> or this? Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! Keep my wife's name out out your fucking mouth! Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth! Keep He's just a robot. He's helpless against female disapproval. How do we end this? She had done that in you the eye rolling, with the guy for example, which yeah, predicts she, 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 divorce. What's that? He had done. She had done it this in a club with a guy who had a gun. Somebody would have ended up dead. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it happens all the time, and it's not the woman's fault. So, but, I mean, I don't mean literally not the woman's fault. I mean that's the the game that it gets played. <laughs> he did it at the Oscars, so that's not yeah. She got away with it. 
that's a non th or that's eye rolling a, for example which yeah, predicts it, it, divorce with 95 percent accuracy yeah and he can do it within five minutes we often do 95 percent we've got myself and caroline have got it right 100 percent of the time where it's like if someone displays contempt for their partner it is fucking over it's gone it's hey so let's talk about that for a sec how about if we all display contempt for our political opponents does that make it over too I think I think maybe it does. I think there's a there's a there's a sense in which uh, political parties now have become like, like sports teams. You you blindly follow left or right, blue or red, whatever your team is, and you become entrenched in our culture. It's like if someone displays contempt for their partner, it is fucking over. It's gone. And what does contempt look like? You can't say that either. You can't say that either. You can't say that. That's judgment. That's judgment. That's judgment. I was policing her language and her yes. own judgment and her yes. own judgment and her yes. own judgment. I was I'm just feeling really attacked right now. I'm feeling really attacked right now. I'm just feeling really attacked. I'm really worked up right now. My nervous system is really, really high right now. I'm really worked up right now. My nervous system is really, so codependents might see contempt and they say, oh, feels like childhood. Let me marry this person. <laughs> okay. We'll go with anything else to close it off. How you feel does not control what I do. Versus. They're basically having an emotional reaction and blaming you. They're basically having an emotional reaction and blaming you. So you have to get to this point. How you feel does not control what I do. Or you have to get to this point. It doesn't matter. It's like, okay, I'm the bad one. Great. Okay. It doesn't matter. It's like, okay, I'm the bad one. Eventually, I got to figure out how to teach that. Not there yet. 